his way to Bucharest that was in the hands of fascism. Here he appears infatigable in the fight, personally organizing the departure of part of the columns, whose supreme task it was to capture Sietamo. During four months, he and his comrades worked incessantly in the victorious campaign of the Argonne Front. With a large part of his valiant columns, he marched to Madrid to take part in the heroic battle against the hirelings of the fascist enemy. Here he fell, mortally wounded from an enemy bullet. Though he himself can no longer participate in the battle, he was the first to enter, the which he lived as an inspiration to all the brave fighters in Madrid. Durutti's coffin is carried out of the headquarters of the Trinity Fai in Barcelona to the strain of the Spanish anarchist hymn to the sons of the people. Hundreds of thousands of the people of Barcelona salute their leader. honor their fallen chief. Banners with inscriptions of the anarchist and syndicalist organizations of the Trinity Five. Duruti, you shall be avenged. The Trinity shall continue your work. The procession moves in the direction of Cataluna Square. All trade unions and political organizations participate in the procession, carrying flowers and wreaths. the imposing funeral demonstration in Cataluna Square. Anti-fascist organizations from all parts of Spain and delegates to the Rutsi's funeral. The anti-fascist fighters honor their dead comrades. On their shoulders. The Ruti's wife, accompanied by her friends.
procession turns into the Rambla de Flores. Comrades of the Ute. The municipal band of Barcelona plays Chopin's funeral march. When passing the house of the American consulate, the American flag is at half mast. The group Truman Chovachea of the Phi honors the Ruti. Funeral orations held at the Columbus Monument. Never before has Barcelona seen such crowds, hundreds of thousands. All Barcelona was out. Senor Companis, President of the Catalan Generalidad, with the anarchist Garcia Oliver, Minister of Justice of the Madrid government. Ruti is buried in the new cemetery of Montpellier. 